Um, so, hello, my name is Dante Matthews and this is the Super Cyrus channel and this topic is all about Second Life. Well, lately Second Life hasn't been doing as well as something like you would think Second Life would be doing. Um, and what that means is that with anime coming out with things like so so uh, so uh, <laughs> sword art online and and other dot hack type of animes you would think that second life would be doing especially well because people just love the idea of virtual reality and things related to the internet but unfortunately a lot of the people that love that content they don't engage in virtual reality on PC anymore. They're on PlayStation Home. Now, <laughs> yes, this is going to be a little bit biased, but only for the first few minutes. I promise. Um, so, with Second Life, it's been around for years. I think over a decade to be exact. Yeah, because I think it came out in 2004. But don't quote me on that because I could be wrong. Second Life is old, and that's fine because old things are incredibly awesome. They're like wine. They get better as they get older. And, you know, I just think that if Second Life wants to continue to expand and grow, not only as a company, but as a user experience to the many, many masses of Second Life fans, that it needs to just hurl itself into social media. It needs to become essentially more than just a social network, but it also needs to be something that you can use with other social networks. And what does that mean? Well, that means that, you know, taking snapshots of scenes and you in Second Life and, added it and editing them in Photoshop to make them look really cool, have your avatar in them and things like that, or recording videos inside of Second Life of you just doing very unique very strange things that no human being would probably want to do. Well, no normal human being. And you see things in Second Life such as um, furries and just really weird shit and it's, I swear it's creepy. But Second Life is still a great user experience and majority of people don't try it, try it out. Why? One reason, and this is probably the main point of doing this video. Um, Second Life does not support Xbox 360 controllers or PlayStation 3, well not PlayStation 3 controllers. Technically it would be PlayStation 4 controllers because that's probably going to be the next big handheld that comes to the PC gaming sphere. You know, sphere because of circular sphere. Well, anyways, um, Second Life, great company. They've been doing a lot of good things. They've been, you know, providing a great service for a long time. Their prices are extremely high for certain products and certain services, but that's that's normal. You would expect that in this day and age. Well, the main problem with Second Life is that a lot of people that either like to play video games or they or they or just casual computer users they're, they'll eventually use a computer, but they won't use it for Second Life. And the reason why is because you can't just plug in an Xbox 360 controller and, you know, just run around and play and socialize with people. But, and I do mean but, on sec, not on Second Life, on PlayStation Home on the PS3, you can plug in a PlayStation 3 controller, have your account set up to where you want to, you know, just set it up and play PlayStation Home completely free. Now, it, PlayStation Home costs money is in the sense that you're buying things, you're buying this, you're paying for that. But those are just separate features. They're not actual, um, it's not like you have to pay to play on, for PlayStation Home. It's, PlayStation Home is one of those free things that you can enjoy. And I think the PlayStation Home might go to the PlayStation 4. I hope so because if I get a PlayStation 4, no, if I get a PlayStation 3 
and they discontinued service for the PlayStation 3 because you know it's eventually going to happen. I mean, they discontinued online service for PlayStation 2 eventually, and it, the, the same is going to happen with the PlayStation 3. And it probably won't be any time within five years from now. I'm just guessing. But what I do know is it's still going to happen. There's no point in having the PlayStation 4 if you're if if people were only buying PlayStation 3s. Now people are buying PlayStation 4s, but the point is is that as time goes on, we eventually move on to the next best thing, and the next best thing is PlayStation 4. Now, what does this all mean for Second Life? Second Life, its only real opponent as far as virtual worlds go, that I think, in my biased opinion, is PlayStation Home. If Second Life can attract all of the users of PlayStation Home onto their virtual world, they'll have better business. They'll have more people to market products to or to market a service to because Second Life, they don't really sell separate products, but they're providing a service. So, yeah, I think I got that. I think I got everything I needed to um, state in this video, but basically just try to grasp your mind around around using Second Life for the Xbox 360 controllers and I'm not talking to the people that love using the mouse and keyboard or or just they feel comfortable using the mouse and keyboard I'm talking about people like me who hate using the mouse and keyboard for gaming and just you know and just participating in things that are Second Life related Second Life is it's a virtual world so you should be able to feel comfortable maneuvering your avatar around. And a mouse and keyboard is not comfortable for some people. Just because just because it's on PC it doesn't mean it has to only support mouse and keyboard. Just like just because it's on a gaming console. One day you might be playing a gaming console with a mouse and keyboard. I mean, companies need to expand beyond just one thing well one type of one type of mater material being used for just that one thing because video games and virtual worlds can be should be able to be played with both mouse and keyboard and also and also controllers so yeah I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover oh yes please subscribe I need subscribers I really do I I really need subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, um, please subscribe. Um, like this video if you like this video. Hell, if you hate this video, like this video. Um, because well, I'm awesome, and this is the Super Zyrus channel, starring me, Dante Matthews. Now, um, holler at holler at your boy or holler at Fallout Boy. I love this band. I've never even been to Chicago, Illinois. How did I get this shirt? <laughs> well, um, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Peace out. Subscribe. And if, again, if you don't like the topics I cover in these videos, suggest topics. Um, you don't have to be shy. I'm on Google Plus somehow. And I'm on Twitter. I don't know why I just am. Um, you can holler at me on Twitter. Um, I don't check it out daily, but I do check it out weekly. Um, the name is Super Zyrus, I mean not Super Zyrus, Super Levon, S-U-P-E-R-L-A-V-O-N, and that's only on Twitter. Um, on YouTube, my channel's named Super Zyrus, but you might also see Dante Matthews, and that's Dante spelled the same way you spell Dante from Devil May Cry, the video game. Not, not, not the way Dante is normally spelled by weird people. Because they spell it with the O and shit. It's not even that. So it's D A N T E and then Matthews with two T's. Um, yeah, so peace out. Much love. Bye bye. Oh, yeah, and subscribe, please. Please subscribe. Only have 20 subscribers. So hopefully you can change that, you know, up the number to at least 100. I don't know. I'm being very decent, you know. I'm just begging for 100. 100 would make me happy. Alright, bye.